It's amazing when I look back. Um, you know, two years ago when we started at UCP, four and a half years ago when Wesley was born, it, it was rough at first um, when he was first diagnosed because when you have a baby, you think of all these things you're going to do, all these milestones you're going to hit. And when you have a child with special needs, all of a sudden you don't know what to do. I got pregnant with Wesley in late 2008. Um, was not planned. I was recently out of some surgery, so um, it was a high-risk pregnancy, but I did well. Um, he was born at eight months. He was also uh, overdosed on a medication um, when he was a couple weeks old. I, myself, was really sick, had some issues, preeclampsia and HELP syndrome, and so the first five or six weeks of his life, we both um, had a lot that we went through and almost both didn't make it. I did start to notice around a year old where he was not starting to babble. That was probably the first sign was, um, you know, a, a definite speech delay and by a year and a half is when we really noticed there was something going on. Right before he was two, um, you know, we, we took him for a developmental assessment. That is when he was diagnosed as ASD um, on the spectrum and uh, speech delay. The older he got and the more I noticed delays, that's when I um, was like, okay, we need to do something. Well, at first, when we first found out his diagnosis, I have to say, I, I found myself almost in denial of it. No, not my grandson, he's perfect. And I started to realize, yes, he is special and he does need others to help him develop. It's in there, it needs to be brought out. And the people at UCP have done that and shown us how to do it and how to work with him and how to bring it out even more. Originally, we heard about UCP um, from the Early Steps program and uh, the success he has had there is amazing. Uh, a year ago, he was about two to two and a half years behind on his speech. And he just got the recent report and they're on most of the tests, he's only about six months behind now. So to jump two years of development in one year, especially at age four, it's amazing. Wesley would not have the success um, that he has if it wasn't for his team around him. Like they say, with all children, it takes a village, and we call our village Wesley's Army, and that includes everyone. The concept of Wesley's Army is really a recognition that none of us can do everything alone, and that we all need to bring things to Wesley, and frankly, to each other, because the task of uh, bringing Wesley what he needs to develop is bigger than all of us individually. It's also uh, meant to uh, be inclusive of everyone, not just in the family, but all of his teachers and therapists and the people that have put their arms around him and helped uh, bring him along so far in a, in a really relatively short time. The developmental explosion, I think it is, is a very, uh, it's a team effort and it has to do with a lot of things. But one of the things that has been really amazing is the family involvement with the team here at UCP. So they are always asking us, what are we working on? They are extremely involved, both grandparents and parents. So to have that team effort going consistently has given, you know, it's, it's like putting fertile soil into a plant. It's just helped him blossom. With regard to UCP, uh, you have a staff of people who truly, truly love the little people that they're charged with and go so far above and beyond that it pays off in the child development. And, and I really mean it. Uh, I've never met such an extraordinary group of caring people, mm -hmm. hands down. When you start this journey, it's, it's very difficult. You don't know what, where to go, what to do. And, you know, I kind of just fell into UCP, but it, it's 
the biggest blessing in my life because it's definitely the reason why Wesley is doing so well. So many parents, I think, take for granted when their kids do things normally. And they, I know it's been said to us that, you know, well, my kid does that all the time. But, you know, no big deal. And things that Wes has done, to us, it was a big deal. Last week, we were in the car, and he goes, Mommy Kim? And I go, yes, boo-boo. And he goes, I love you, and starts blowing me kisses. I seriously almost drove off the road. You know, at one point, I never thought my child would even talk. And not only is, you know, he's speaking, but he's telling me how he feels. And that little sentence, I love you, mommy, and blah, because that was proof of all the hard work, like this is paying off. It's, it's amazing what everybody can do when they work together.